Hey guys, how's it going? It's John from The Machine Shop. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to control the output on an Arduino board. This will be the same for the Arduino Uno, the Mega, any of the Arduino compatible boards. So I'm gonna show you how we set up the pin to be an output and then how we control that output to turn them on and off. We're actually gonna get the little onboard LED uh, to work today. So I'm gonna take you through all the code. We'll have a look in the software and see where we go from there. Okay, you ready? Then let's go. Okay, so here we are. We're in the IDE and we've got our board connected. If you haven't seen it already uh, and you wanna see of getting started using the Arduino, click the little card up here. I'll put a link to the video of how to get started, how to get the software installed and all that sort of stuff. So let's jump into our software. Uh, as you know, we've got two parts. We've got the setup and we've got the main loop. So what we're gonna do is we are going to try and get the output to turn on and off inside of our loop. So it's just gonna go on, off, on, off, on, off. So first thing we need to do is set up the pin to work as an output. With any microcontroller, all of the pins, the microcontroller is obviously this little black chip which is on here. All of the pins on here have multiple functions that they can be used for. It could be to work as an output or to work as an input. It could also be that they're used for communications. It could be that they're used for audio, loads of things that they could be used for. So you have to tell the microcontroller what you want that pin to be before you can control it. So we do that with a function called pin mode. So with our nice bit of programming uh, style, we'll tab this in a bit. So we do pin mode, okay? It'll go turn orange so that it's recognized the function that you guys are typing in. Make sure you get as a capital M on pin mode to make sure you get that right. Now I want to control the LED which is on the Arduino Uno. That's connected to pin 13. So we go pin 13 and I want to set that as an output. Oh, my shift didn't work. Output. There we go. It's recognized it as well. It's turned blue. We close our brackets and we put a semicolon at the end. So now the microcontroller knows that we want pin 13 to be an output, not an input, not sound, not, not communications, nothing like that, just an output. So now we come down to our loop. Now to do a, uh, to turn an output on and off, we use a function called digital write. Digital write allows us to go between off and on, or zero to one, or in the case of the Arduino Uno, which is five volts, it will go between zero volts and five volts to say that it's turned on. So we do that with a function called digital write. So that's digital, capital W, digital write. Then we need to tell it what pin we use. So pin 13. And then we need to say what we want to do with it. So we want to go high or turn on. There's loads of different ways of saying that. You can say on or off. You can say true or false. Or in this case, high or low. So low would be off, high would be on. So we've got a digital write, high. Now, I want it to flash, and I want to be able to see that flash. So I need to, if I was to put a, say if I wanted it to flash, you'd have thought you have to turn it on, then turn it off. If I did a digital write 13 and then low to turn it off, because of the speed of these things are so quick, this one runs at, uh, has a heartbeat of 8 million or 8 megahertz per second. So my heart beats probably, what, 70, 80 beats per minute. So that's like just over one beat per second. This does 8 million beats per second. So if I was to turn it on and off 8 million times a second, I'm not really gonna see that effect of turning it on and off. So I'm gonna put a delay in between each one of these. So I'm gonna put delay, and then this is in milliseconds, so a thousandth of a second. So to do one second would be 1,000. So it'll turn pin 13 high, or turn it on, wait for one second, with a semicolon at the end, and then it'll turn it off. Uh, now, as part of my loop, the next thing it'll do immediately after that is turn it back on. So I'm not gonna see the off stage, right? So I need to put another delay in. So delay 1000. So there we go, read through our code. Uh, we're setting up pin 13 as an output, good. Digital write, pin 13 on, delay for one second, Digital write, put pin 13 off, and delay for another second. Let's upload it to our board and see what it does. So, here's my Arduino Uno. You can see that little orange LED, if my camera's gonna focus on it, uh, is currently completely static. There we go. You can see that little orange LED, it's completely static, it's not going anywhere. Let me upload to the board, and we should see the little LEDs over here. Oh, it wants me to save the file. Uh, so I'll just save, there we are, just save it there. 
Um, so now it should upload to the board. We should see some little flashing LEDs on there. You can see it's doing the compiling on the software. There we are, flashing about a bit. And then our orange LED look is now, there we go, is now flashing on and off every second, every 1,000 milliseconds. So we've told our output to do something. So you can do that with any of the pins which are on the Arduino board. Um, if you've got your Uno, they are all easily labeled from 0 to 13 on there. So they're all your digital outputs which you can use. So really quick, really easy demo. You could then take this, this output could then go to something to maybe turn on an, an, a different LED which is off your board. You could use it to turn a motor on and off. So you'd say go motor, turn off motor. Um, it may be that you want it to run quicker. By changing that delay, you can change how quick that flash happens. Um, you could use it for doing loads of other things. I'm going to do some more videos using digital, right? In my projects, I've got a few coming up where I want to control some uh, red, green, and blue LED strips. So I'm going to show you how to interface with those, the little few bits of extra electronics that we need for that. Um, I'm also going to show you how to control a huge, let me show you, I'm going to show you how you can control this massive, great big 100 watt LED. I'm going to do that as a separate video. Again, some little extra electronics are required to power this sort of thing. You can tell how big it is. Look at the size of the fan on the back of it. Huge. That heat sink is just to keep the thing cool. It uses that much power. So hit the subscribe button if you want to see the new videos coming up. Also, if you want to see some videos of using digital right in an actual application. And uh, the next video, I'm going to be doing some things about how we do analog. So where that one was between uh, off and on, yeah, off and on, or zero to five volts. What about the bit in between? How do we get it to do the bits in between? So the next video is going to be on that and how to use analog right. So thanks for joining me. My name's John from the Machine Shop. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Machine Shop UK. Also visit my website, themachineshop.uk. Uh, I'm going to put all the stuff in there. There's also an online shop where you can f buy some bits and pieces that you need for doing these projects. So feel free to have a look at that. Have a look at the links as well, where some other places where you can buy these bits and pieces. And I will see you in that next video. Cool. Thanks for joining me. Bye.